going on and welcome back to some more Majora's Mask in the last part well the audio went out in this part the uh the audio is still out but we're in the Snowhead Temple going we one thing is um we're going to uh go up to when we get the fire arrows that's the main item in this dungeon and then um we're going to uh what am I trying to say then we're gonna go back and get that uh we're gonna go back and get that uh before the store so like Basically, in this recording session, I do two different runs of a Snowhead Temple, and the second run is actually Swordless, which is something I've never done before in this temple. Which, um... Anyway, so there are these enemies, um... Make sure the beams are away, and basically just use the Groran Master roll like this. You basically use that as a little thing, and, uh... There are a couple of stray fairies in this room. So yeah, definitely one of the which you do need the lens of truth, and you also need the Great Fairy's Mask, and I forgot to equip it. But anyway, um, so yeah, um, there are a couple of stray fairies in this temple that can definitely throw a first timer off, and I will reveal what locations they are when we get to them, and uh, that's not how you shoot it. That's not either. Anyway, so, uh, we basically... I get that little fucker over there. Yeah! So, uh... Is it gonna come? Yes, it is. That's, we already got two stray fairies, and, uh... When we enter this room right here, we're gonna... It's get, there, a stray fairy's gonna come to us if we enter the room with the, uh... Garm mask. We're going to take intentional damage. There isn't much we can do in this room quite yet, but we can get right the dungeon map right here. Because, like, if you try to, uh, yeah, we can't quite shoot that target with arrows yet because there are things blocking it. So, yeah, I, I guess we can go back downwards. So yeah, much like the last part, I basically uh, put in-game music in the editing. I basically put in-game music in relevant places because that's what you do when you um, that's what you do when you handle like when you handle bad recording audio. Thing is, when I recorded this footage, I accidentally uh forgot to. I forgot to mute one setting in my, in my mixing software, so basically it resulted in, like, fucked up audio. So basically in the editing software, it's muted, but you're hearing in-game music that I uh, mixed in the editing software. We're gonna go and get the Goron Mask. The Goron Mask, you can run over lava, no problem. You guys don't understand, like, how does that chest not get burned in the lava? Because that's just flat out Nintendo logic at its finest. And we already have four stray fairies. See, I we're basically already seeing the main gimmick of this temple is that there's uh, multiple floors. We basically um. We basically get access to three floors in this temple. We uh, need to find out ways to get at, get that platform up very th ways. And so we're gonna push this block. This is only for a stray fairy, but we're getting all the fairies. Like I've said this before, and I'll say it again. Even if you're not doing a hundred percent, I at least still recommend getting all the stray fairies because. I would say in this temple, it's definitely more worth it to get the Stray Fairy upgrade than it is in the last temple. And also in this recording session, I used a brand new controller. I got a, um, I got, I had a, I have like six different N64 controllers and like of the six, like, Three of those controller sticks are on their last leg, so I've been slowly working to rebuild my N64 controller collection. And I think one of the sticks that has uh, 
a bad stick. Stick also has a jammed Z button. Like I have two green controllers and one of which is a jammed Z button. Well, not much we can do in this room quite yet, but we can get the compass. And we're going to, uh, we're going to equip some bombs. And, uh, we're going to, uh, get, we're going to blow up that crate. Because, you know, what's in there. Not if you fail and take damage, but, uh, you know, what's in there. Stray fairy. Yeah, I'm just saying, I just, whenever I get the opportunity to blow up walls with the blast mask or the bombs, if given the option, I will always choose the blast mask. Because, like, if you use the shield, you don't take any damage. You know, so we just need to get out the arrows and the lens of truth. And there are icicles, and, uh, these are basically the same way we, uh, we got rid of those, uh, ice things in, uh, to get to Mountain Village much earlier on. And so there's a stray fairy. We already have how many uh, stray fairies is it? Uh, we already have. Uh, we already have six stray fairies. We're already nearly halfway there. We were already halfway there, halfway there, halfway there, and we got hit by an icicle. So, um, man, it would fucking hurt to get a hit in the head with an icicle like that. And I can't make the jump. I think, uh, yeah, you can't make, you can't really make a lot of jumps as a Goron. But if I jump from a different angle, yeah, that should work. So we got the Goron mask, and, uh, you can use bombs, but why, if I am given the option of bombs, the blast mask, or the Goron mask, the Goron mask takes it all. Like, the Goron mask is amazing. I'm just saying, though, the Goron mask, I will say, um, isn't the best of the transformation mask. By the way, that t that stray fairy right there, that definitely that definitely uh that's definitely one that's uh can throw off first timers. But yeah, you need the lens of truth to go up there. So yeah, I think in this part I was making sure if I was doing this puzzle right because um Yeah, I'm doing this puzzle. I wasn't doing this puzzle right initially, but like um yeah, and I fell right there, but like um Yeah, I didn't, I didn't do it right the first time. So like um I I think I was kind of overthinking this, like when I recorded this, because like um, I know I now know I know it, how to do this. It's just like um, yeah, I, I just had to wait till the time runs out, because then I figured out how to do it properly. Because yeah, you then go on that giant one, and use the green one to climb up. Once you get the fire arrows, though, you do not have to deal with this puzzle at all. Yeah, we're on, we're now on the second floor. So yeah, we just have to fight a mini boss, and we're gonna get the fire arrows. Be careful you don't fall to the earlier floor because then you'll have to go back up. And trust me, there's nothing fun about having to backtrack. I think we're in the wrong room. <laughs> so yeah, that room over there, that's where the uh, mini boss is. 
I think I was checking to see if the, yeah, there's magic in there. So uh, I was just checking to see if there was magic. And there's mini boss time. Now, um, you can either kill this guy using arrows or the Goron Mask. I would recommend using Goron Mask as Goron Mask. The Goron Mask can take out a lot of things in just a few hits. Just be careful because if he hits you with his beam, you get frozen. You have to tap A to basically get unfrozen. I think maybe four hits, I think that's when it, um, it takes with the Goron Mask. He's gonna clone himself and we went the wrong way. Yeah, we got frozen. We got frozen again because I didn't control this properly. Maybe we did this too late and uh, all right, there we go. Punch his ass, yeah, it's three hits. So yeah, I think it's four hits it takes with the Gron Mask. Yeah, it's four hits. And this time we get the fire arrows. Which the fire arrows are also not only more powerful, but they thought ice. You can actually, it's interestingly enough, you can maneuver the temple, you can maneuver around the temples much easier once you get the items. Like if you get the fire arrows, you can just thaw out ice that you wouldn't have otherwise. Because we are going to sword at the entrance, and we're going to go get our sword reforged. Anyway, so now we're going to sword him out in Village, and I uh, totally failed to realize while I was recording this game footage that you need 100 rupees to get your sword reforged, so um... Yeah, I guess we initially sword him out in Village, and then we get back to uh, Clock Town. And once again, I am changing the songs to be in the relevant settings because I, that's how you properly handle a situation like this. We're going to sort of clock town, and guess what? We're going to play the appropriate music. So, three, two, one, yeah. Yeah, we're just going to go get rupees, and, uh... One thing, one thing is, like, um... Yeah, I tried to see if I could do a side quest right here, except, uh... I totally forgot that, uh... See, I know the side quest I was thinking, but I think I arrived at the wrong time of the day. I think you need to arrive at like 3 in the afternoon, so like, yeah, I couldn't do this in this 3-day cycle. Maybe the next one. There's always next time. Anyway, so we're going to, uh, we're going to withdraw 71 rupees because that equals 100. So yeah, now we're going to soar back to a mountain village and basically get our sword reforged. Because I didn't do this. I actually had a failed take of the failed take because um, I was going to try to see if I could do all the Snowhead Swordless, but I totally forgot that you need the fire arrows in order to get your sword reforged. Yeah, now that we're back in Mountain Village and the appropriate songs playing is that, uh, we're going to, uh, we're gonna go get a Sword of Fortune in this house. We're gonna also go get for the Fire Arrows. Fire Arrows also use magic, so, like, be wary of that. But once we get all the Stray Fairies, we're gonna get a great upgrade that'll help with that. Yeah, now we're going to, uh, I'm gonna thaw that out. So basically in the next part, like, uh, this, we'll do the second half of Snowhead and we're going to basically do it swordless. So 
Yeah, he's basically, uh, he's basically gonna tell us that the Reforged Sword costs 100 rupees, and, uh, you can only use Reforged Sword 100 times, so, like, be wary of that. Also telling us to come back at the dawn of the second day, so now we're gonna... Now we are going to, uh... Now we're gonna soar back to Snowhead, and I think I'll, uh... I think I'll now cut it off in this part of Majora's Mask, so, uh... Next time on Majora's Mask, we will just do the remainder of, uh, Snowhead. This time without a sword, so, uh, yeah, subscribe if you want to see that, so, later, folks.